This thing is gonna be an amazing weapon. For me, I'm gonna go poor. I already have 9 mil left in my bank. This thing is quick and is fat and is deadly. So, so far, the firing rate is really great. You guys have spoken. Now let's read them. How's it going, everybody? My name is Armando. Welcome back to another. Well, I guess you can say Dead Frontier reaction to comments video. <laughs> so guys, I promised you I was going to read these comments because honestly, I was kind of skimming through some of them. And I feel like, you know, this will be a very great video to touch up on what the community thinks. All right. So this video got 4,300 views. All right. Amazing. Again, thank you guys. Uh, pretty cool. We got some, some dislikes here and there. But like I said, this is a controversial topic to talk about because many people love Dead Frontier. Many people have a lot of questions about the frontier in terms of how to play this game, and then there's people that just outright hate it, alright? For me, I was neutral. I said I love this game, and I completely do. I love the community that's in it, I love what is done for my channel, so like I said, I'm very much neutral on this. But, some of you guys don't feel the same. Alright, so, without further ado, let's just get right into reading the comments, alright? So, let's get right into it, alright? The first one, from Lucas Jose. The only thing that could fix this game is a hard reset. But people aren't prepared to lose, to lose their privileges at all. Mm, very interesting topic. But this is a topic that I kind of want to cover in another video. That I feel like pretty much explains why this already happened. Alright? You guys don't know it. But this, what Lucas Jose has basically said, has happened. It's in front of our faces. It's under our noses. It's just that no one has really discovered it yet. All right, but that's again, that's going to be a video that I'm working on. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of a secret. All right, you ready? Follow me, follow me, follow me. What does the title say? Dead Frontier 2 and there's a whole script under it. Of course, I'm going to censor this out because I don't want you guys reading the script because I'm going to just spoil the video. But yeah, just just let you know that it's in the works. All right. <laughs> Here's another one from Andre Salaz. Thanks for the vid, homie. Enjoying this Death Frontier COVID season in my life. It's sad that the game status is what it is and the Steam version isn't really there. It is to playing game. I've been enjoying it, but for real, Hellraiser is tool pay made my gameplay jump from FP to soloing Black Titans is just observed. Absurd. Hope Admin rethinks the direction of the game. He's got a bunch of loyal players. He should incorporate player suggestion content and pull the updates. Let the community decide what they want. So I mean I kind of agree with the first part, but like I said, I'm not here to argue with you guys. It's just my opinion, and it's an opinion, not a fact. But the hair razor, you know, it was basically released so people, you know, that don't really have money to spend on the game, which I completely agree. If you have to spend over a ton of money on any game, then it's not really going to be an easy game to kind of scale up in just terms of grinding and hours alone. You have to put in your credit card, which I always say sucks, all right? People love games, but when it comes to kind of incorporating money, it just ruins the vibe of it, all right? Here you go from having a great time grinding, putting your hours, and all of a sudden, a pay-to-win idea comes into the mix, and now you're just like, wow, this game isn't what it used to be. But back to the topic of Andre Salas, I do agree, the first part was pretty much there. You know, Death Frontier 2 is lacking in content. But the Hair Razor, it is OP, all right? But it's perfect for people who don't have, you know, the money to spend on the Wraith Cannon. Or anything that requires you to, you know, spend over 100 bucks just to get on those high tier um, leagues, all right? So the Hellraiser was was a perfect addition to the game, you know? It, it helps people now, like for you, you know, you can finally fight a Black Titan by yourself, which is what many people wanted. They want to go out there into the second bunker, you know, go to the white zone, just kill bosses and be guaranteed to loot, which I always say, what's the point of looting for three hours, four hours, if you can just go kill bosses for half an hour, make 300k, come back and repeat? Realistically, you're making around 200k an hour just killing bosses, it's, it's insane. This one also has me laughing a little bit. Bimo Satrio, I love your profile, man. Clayton is the only hope for this game. Honestly, I must say, yes and no. But at the same time, it does help Admin kind of focus on Death Frontier 2, you know? Because when you have to focus on two games at once, I can't imagine doing that. Because for me, when it comes to, it's not the same thing whatsoever. But when I edit on a video, I have to focus on that one video alone. I can't be doing 10 projects at once because then nothing will get done. And if it does get done, it'll just look like a pet. Uh, it'll just look very messy. So the fact that Clayton is doing things like Death Frontier still alive and, you know, also helping with the updates of the game, it's pretty cool, you know? You probably won't read this since this comment is going to be one of those paragraphs that nobody cares about. I left this game long, a long time ago, but this came out of nowhere and, and I wasn't even subscribed to you. This game was good. Played it when I was a kid who wasn't able to use a credit card. Left the game mid-2012. It was just a, I'm bored, so I'm going to just kill zombie 
game for me. My main game at that time was CSS and now CSGO load. So yeah, fast forward to 2017, I had something come up with my life that I didn't like. I must say this game took like a thousand dollars of my savings or even more. I wish I came back to in this game, but I think the game needs to be updated or reworked. Not sure if I like this game or I might just be nostalgic. Because as soon as I head into the inner city, it really bores me. But low-key still waiting for this game to refuse it to receive a huge rework or update and get another trailer so new people can see it and try it out. There's so much I want to say, but I don't know how to express this, so I guess thanks for the video. I subscribe, by the way. Hey, my IGN is small boo and run for our life. <laughs> when I was 13 back in 2011, still in middle school, you know, so I was a little baby. I found this game on a whim, you know, and I too didn't have a credit card. You know how I bought my membership, guys? You want to hear this out? When I was in middle school, or actually freshman high school, my parents started giving me, uh, lunch money every day, $5, and I wanted a 577 Rex so bad. Remember, I was still a kid, I didn't know about the credits in the market, so I must have overspent on this stupid Rex, but I think I saved about $100, right? Yeah. And I bought gold membership, I 577 Rex, and, and some XT from the credit shop, so I used actual credits to buy those weapons from the credit shop, so as you can tell, I got robbed, but I clearly remember just starving, and starving for l during lunchtime, dude, I will... Oh man, it was such a rough time for me. I didn't have a job, obviously. I was a freshman in high school. I think I was like 15, 16, I don't know. <laughs> now, from Nani games, Death Frontier will always have a place in my heart no matter what we've all been through a lot. Yeah, to be honest. This is also another one that I've also loved from Jerome Garcia. I wish to have a mobile version of Death Frontier. LOL. Honestly, this has been a question for everybody in the Death Frontier community. Hey, Amin, why didn't you bring this to mobile? You know, I would honestly would love to grind on the comfort of my bed and just grind the hell out of zombies my race cannon. I'll never get tired. I'll never be like, damn, yo, my back hurts from sitting on this chair for seven hours a day. You know, it'll probably be cool. <laughs> I'll probably get TS for the first time in my life. <laughs> but no, guys, I, I have this, I play this game called One Piece Bounty Rush. It's not the same game as F2, obviously. But the battery dies too fast and my phone overheats and eventually I have to connect it and then the, the game, and then my phone gets hot. And then the game starts lagging because the phone is hot. So, I mean, honestly, I mean, we'll just have to really polish this game up just so it can be more or less tolerable in the, you know, mobile gaming. Because honestly, mobile gaming, it might have reached a lot. But when people try to bring powerful games to these iPhones and stuff, uh, it doesn't really work out too well. Yeah, it just, I feel like I mean, just has to look at that a little too long. I came back recently after five years of not playing. Boy, there were a lot of changes which made me question this current state of Death Frontier 3D just like you. Is this game really dying that it had to go pay to win like any other games these days? Very disappointing of how it turned out, but at least they gave us they gave out free boosts and events for the free to play players like some of us. Grinding in the current stages of Death Frontier 3D isn't as rewarding as it used to be. So remember guys, back then, you know, nobody had anything, no boost. It was just basically you, the guns, that's it, it was skills. But then obviously after time went on, people didn't respect the higher ups too much because honestly we have too many drugs i have a wraith cannon x dust so when people call me pro i just look at them and say you know i appreciate your compliment but honestly <laughs> i don't really think that much <laughs> but yeah a lot has changed in the death frontier 3d uh journey gaming stuff oof i agree back in the days farming and four passer or pre and 13 is not much but the happiness it gives is so satisfying no hate but unlike today the death frontier is so far ahead from the original death frontier that we loved, but I'm still playing the classic Death Frontier I know. I am farming with TT Blades and some classic weapons, not too OP because I missed the old Death Frontier. Honestly, when Death Frontier 2D came out, I just loved the fact that it was a challenge and grenade launchers were just a little OP and everything had an op-back. It was, those were such simple times and honestly, it was just a great time. This was, this was also a very good one. Joseph Valo, people do it themselves. Neo is not forcing anyone to be buying all that stuff. You are not forced to be the best player. Well, you see, that's not the problem, Joseph. The problem is, like I said, I'm not trying to fight with you, just opinions. The problem is, is that some people don't like taking that route, you know? The people that take the, the pay to win route, they're instantly gonna destroy you. Just imagine, you're playing your favorite game. You took years to get you where you are. And then you see a player for just one week and he's the top player, why? Because he bought all the best gear. And then when you go against that player, he'll destroy you because again, he used his wallet and not his skills or his time. So that's what kind of, pisses off many players ea does this uh, ubisoft does. you know a lot of a lot of great big companies do this death frontier isn't the only one all right like i said if admin can fix this which i don't know i don't think i think it's unfixable at this point but if admin can more or less balance this out no doubt in my mind will death frontier come back to his former glory and just be amazing all right guys and the last comment i'll be doing is joshua abraham de leon you have a really good point there i would agree too but i don't know i really like this game i guess you can say admin is like giving you the player an option how you will play the game if you if you like it easy then go nuts and spell real, real life clash if you like a challenge then try playing the game without any 
overall the game is still fun to play in my opinion. I mean sure competition is hard compared to those who spend real life cash, but there's still some who enjoy farming, looting, grinding, and somehow in playing it realistically. Hope you keep on playing though, really like your bits man, cheers. And I feel like that's a perfect comment to close this video on. Honestly, he's right. If you want a challenge, don't spend a dime on this, on this uh, game. I have an account, I've been working on it. His name is Armand Fran. It was supposed to be a series with Francisco, but he got bored, so I'm gonna make a video where he dies. <laughs> but it's more fun, yes, because I made a challenge of myself where I say, if I die, this video series ends. I cannot die, all right? We're playing realistically. And another one for my for my friend, his name is uh, Sir Beerus on Discord. He said, hey, Armando, why don't you just play like, you know, Sandman from RuneScape, where basically you can only use the items you use in your inner, inner city. No, don't use the market. Just use what you find. And I'm like, yo, that's an incredible idea. But eventually I'm going to have to spend money in the market because, you know, you can't really buy a, a, a Scar 9. You can't really find a Scar 9000 or an Irish site if you're a non-go member, unfortunately. That's how it is. If you don't have go membership, just like the comment below, you have no chance of finding a level 120 weapons. It's been proven. You have no chance of finding level 120 weapons, okay? I can only find level 110 weapons and even then it's super, 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 super slim. So eventually I may have to use the market. But again, Joshua Abraham De Leon, you have a great point there, man. You want a challenge? Don't spend money. You don't want a challenge? Just spend the money. You know, and I get why people spend money. There's nothing more satisfying than taking out a minigun and just destroying everything in your path. But that eventually gets bored. People who bought Wraith Cannons, they, they got bored with the game and now they have a $500 uh, weapon on their account never to be used again, which is sad. <laughs> I'm a Avengers guard, you know, but it is how it is. That's how the cookie crumbles and yeah, <laughs> it's just a sad reality you see in Death Frontier 3D. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, I'll be making another Death Frontier video in the future, but this one might require more work. I'm going to be making a gaming series on Death Frontier 3D, realistic series. You know, people have been wanting me to make a new account. I do have one. Unfortunately, there's new people that came into my channel don't know about realistic Death Frontier. You know, here's a here's a thumbnail of it. Here's the, the link in the description below. Check it out. It's funny. I try to make it as funny as I can. But yeah, that's all I got, guys. So this is Armando signing out. I'll see you guys very soon. Take care and be careful out there. Take it easy. Bye.